What's up, you Doc and Dick fuckers? I'm McStud. And I'm Mrs. McStud. And welcome to the motherfucking <clears throat> McStud Show. Are you a Doc and Dick fucker? Hold on. Maybe. You sure? I don't have a dick. You know what docking is, don't you? Yes. What is it? Uh, foreskin, where a dick goes in the foreskin. Where a dick goes in the foreskin. Yeah, two dudes to use his foreskin was like a dick sleeve on the other guy. Yeah. Yes. And that's a fucked up shit. That is fucked up. You think we should try it? No. What if you got like an uncircumcised dildo or a strap on and we could like pretend to dock? No. Yeah, that'd be weird. Yeah. I don't even, yeah. Ugh. You might like that. And that makes me not. cringe actually. Like, uh, no thank you. Yeah. Anyways, motherfuckers, it's Throat Pounding Thursday. Uh, it was a hot motherfucker today, wasn't it? It was. It felt like it was, uh, what should you say? I think it was 88 degrees and it already felt like 100. Oh. Yeah, that was a whole mess. How was your drive home? Uh, it was okay. And what did you pick up on your way home? Uh, green tomatoes. Ugh. Pizza. Beer. Cigarettes. I just meant the tomatoes. Mm. Like, so you picked up a bag of vomit, mm -hmm. essentially. Cheers, motherfuckers. I don't do fried tomatoes. I don't do any tomatoes, really. But everyone in the house loves fried green tomatoes, right? Yeah. So you got what? Four. So my son. Well, I am right there with him. <clears throat> uh, you got four big ones? Yes. Damn, first time this week does have four big ones. Yeah, at one time. True. <laughs> Hey, uh, I, uh, well, look, before I get into it, how was your day this week's day? It was all right. Was it better than the first three days of the week? It was all Mondays. All Mondays? Well, cheers to that. Tomorrow's a Friday, so hopefully your Friday is not a Monday. But at least if it is, it's your last Monday for the week. That's true. Um, cheers to that. So, let's start out. I heard you had some fun at the liquor store today. What kind of fun did you have at the liquor store today? So I had this guy in front of me that he was in cutoffs, you know, jeans and boots and all that. So he's looking good. And he he was looking at me. Well, he's looking know, good. He walked negative. Uh, <laughs> he walked there. Uh huh. So he was staring at me before I even got out of the car. So I go in, you know, I, I'm looking for the roommate some beer. They didn't have it. So I walked down and got my Mickey's. Mm -hmm. I walked up and I get in hot behind this guy in line that was checking me out. So he's counting change out. You know, I mean, he had dollars. Yeah. Uh, but he was also counting some change out so he could just get dollars back. Mm -hmm. um, so while he was doing this, 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 guy walked in he had red hair he had a hat on he had a backpack on and he was kind of stumbling couldn't tell if he was stumbling or if he couldn't walk right you uh -huh. know what i mean so he just giggles <clears throat> from the time he hit the motherfucking door he's giggling talking to himself all the way over to the fucking freezer to get his beer and then walk up behind me in line so I'm kind of standing sideways at this point because I was like, this motherfucker, uh, ain't he's turning, creepy. Ain't turning your back on the motherfucker. No. Right. So that guy that was checking me out, he, he looked at me and he's like, hey, I got you. I said, thank you. Uh, because that guy really made me uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. So he stood at the side of the counter while, you know, while she rung me up. And as I started to get my money out, you know, he kind of left. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I was like, not a big deal. She goes, you want me back? No, don't worry about back and that bitch. No, I just walked out the street. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. You gotta get the fuck out of here. <laughs> so as soon as I hit that fucking door, there was another guy that was waiting on that laughing guy uh, outside by that cigarette thing mm -hmm. and everything. So, um, and he was out there just giggling, talking to himself and all this shit too. And then that and he goes, well, I can't even stop laughing to tell, say hi to this beautiful young lady in front of me. Oh, how are you doing, young lady? I said, 
said, I'm good. <laughs> Next thing you know, it was this guy that was checking me out walking across the fucking parking lot. He's like, hey, leave her the fuck alone. <laughs> and then he waited, you know, for me to get in my car and everything. So it was all good. Well, that worked out. Yeah. That was, uh, you know, you had a, you happy to be back in Newcastle? No. You had some questionable occurrences since we were like, yeah. It's been a whole motherfucking mess. Um, <clears throat> so. Needless to say, that was an uh, excitement. Is that the only excitement you had today? No, it's not. We're not going to talk about that yet. Yes, it is. No, uh, but tomorrow is Friday the 13th. Yes. So we will not be doing a video for Friday the 13th. We'll be back on Sunday the 15th um, to continue the shenanigans. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did I dream this? Did you ask me about shenanigans yesterday? No. I had a dream. You were asking about shenanigans from Super Troopers? Yeah. <laughs> you know when Farva? He's like, the next per I swear to God, I'm all pistol with the next person. It says shenanigans, and they get Farva to say, oh, you mean shenanigans? Yeah. Yeah, I had a dream about that then, which I've had some very realistic dreams all week. Yeah. Uh, I actually had another realistic dream today. <laughs> That, uh, well, me and our buddy have been talking about TV shows. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about, like, Sons of Anarchy and shit like that. So I had this dream that we were at my grandma's old house, and I was in a motorcycle gang. Never rode a motorcycle in my life. Jeez. But, uh, you know, our president was outside trying to deal with some stuff. He gets in a fight and gets knocked down in the side ditch, and this dude takes this big fucking uh, log like cut off the log and it slams it on his head and then the next thing I know like a hundred motherfuckers that aren't in our gang <clears throat> up and we're just trying to survive and then I wake up sweating <laughs> god damn the whole motherfucking mess um are you going to? Yes. Yes. alright well, I'll uh, wait to uh, resume the conversations we're going to have um yeah, I had this. I've had fucked up dreams all week. Uh, some like I ended up, like this motorcycle dream. I ended up in the barn with my pistol because I was just kind of, you know, I, I there was too many of them, so I was trying to uh, get away, and it did not work out for me. But before I could uh, reach the consequences of what the fuck was going to happen, I uh, woke up and I woke up hot, and it was a whole motherfucking mess. And I can't even remember the dreams I've had earlier this week, but they've all been realistic, and I know today I had another dream, and I think I was reaching for my phone, and I remember putting my hand up to my ear, and I looked up, and I'm like, oh, I'm fucking dreaming, uh, I'm not getting a phone call, uh, it was a whole goddamn mess, yes, it was hot as balls today, um, I've had a headache all motherfucking day, for like the second day straight, uh, it's been a motherfucking mess, really, overall. You know, this weekend, Miss McStud's cooking some uh, chorizo and hamburger meatloaf for our, uh, our friend and his wife. My idea. I'll take props for that. But uh, she's uh, looked up the recipes, and I, I actually can't wait to try it. It sounds, it sounds pretty fucking good. Speaking of, this Nikki's is fucking delicious. Well deserved, not for me really. Well deserved for her. She had a long, long, long fucking week, having to drive home in the heat all fucking week. Um, and she's tired today, so she we trying to get our video done, and then she gonna bathe, we're gonna eat, and then she probably gonna go to bed at an early hour, uh, which she deserves too, because she needs her rest. Uh, what the fuck else happened today? Oh. No, the other day I did get a knock on the door. And I couldn't tell who it was. And I looked up kind of through the curtain. And I thought it was our buddy's truck out there. So I thought he just stopped over to say hi or whatever. And I kind of see a shadow through our window. Because we got this window glaze on it. So you just kind of see shadows. It looked like him and that. And I opened up the door and it's this woman. Apparently it's the neighbor across the street. And she has this gas bill. And she's like, is this by a chance you guys... And the name on there I'd never seen before. I was like, no. So, 
someone has apparently canceled their gas service, transferred it to another name, and she has no idea who the fuck these people are. And I still don't know how this whole fucking thing worked out, but she thought since we were new in the neighborhood that maybe the gas company got confused and put the wrong address on it. And I was like, that's really not us. Um, like, we're still in the rental process. We have a, well, we're going to buy, but we haven't even got to the point of getting the utilities in our name yet. So that was a, a whole weird thing. Not, I've never had that happen. Um, and sitting on the porch out here, we see some really interesting things. Like one day we seen a dude on a four-wheeler. Uh, we seen our friend on a go-kart. We seen a dude on a skateboard pushing and pulling a push mower, which was interesting. We seen people on little scooters, some crazy looking scooters. Uh, yeah, and it's been a whole motherfucking mess. Mm. So tomorrow is Friday, Friday the 13th, to be safe motherfuckers, but I hope uh, you guys get to enjoy some Friday the 13th movies, some Jason motherfucking Voorhees, some Kent Crystal Lake killing and shit, and uh, enjoy the day, because Friday the 13th don't happen very often. And some people are superstitious, and when Mr. McStug gets back, we're going to get into the Friday the 13th thing. Um, Oh god. And so Miss McStud got, you know, another pussy destroyer after just now. Um but speaking of pussy destroyers. Okay. So we talk on video about, you know, you see these guys <laughs> in their shirts off being pussy destroyers, right? I never thought Miss McStud would change gears and become a pussy destroyer herself. That's fucking like, she went from straight dick to scissoring in, like, 2.5 today. <laughs> no, I didn't. Yes, you did. So, <laughs> as she's on her way to work today, and this is how I realized Miss McStead's a pussy destroyer, she calls me, and she's like, I just hit a cat. <laughs> Both wheels hit it. <laughs> and I look back, it looks like it's convulsing. But what happened is the cat got hit and it's, it's rolling with the momentum. Like it got kicked through the tires. So all I can ask is like, are you okay? Like I make sure she didn't swerve off the road or something crazy. You didn't wreck. She's like, no, I'm fine. I just, I couldn't avoid it. And she's distraught. Like, she's like, that's someone's cat. Uh, like some kid's going to wake up looking for their fucking cat. Was it my house? The, no, it was in cornfields. It ran out of cornfields. Okay, it's a stray then. Uh, more than more likely than not and no one's gonna miss their stray cat however i was just happy that she didn't do anything crazy and try to swerve out of the way you know wrecking being a cornfield herself uh in an accident but uh she had totally destroyed some pussy this morning uh and she's still upset about it so <laughs> so she gets home and <clears throat> daughter's over here and i said heaven gained another angel today little meow meow and he probably showed up looking like this. <laughs> and she's like, how can you even say that? That is horrible. Because I have a dark sense of humor. It was horrible. But as long as you were safe. Yes, but the cat like convulsed and everything. And then whenever I drove back by, it wasn't there. Well, it probably got eaten by some buzzards or something. Uh. Which are the equivalent <laughs> to vultures here in Indiana. Um, or a dog or coyote picked it up or something. But most of it was white and it had like calico down its back. Mm. Like Not after that, it probably had some road rash. Black and brown. It had some uh, tire marks on it. Oh. You, know, you know, you get grill, you get a, a burger or hot dog with nice grill marks in it. Well, this guy had nice grill marks, but it was a tread on your fucking tire. <laughs> High five to Miss Nick Stubby and the Pussy Destroyer. No. Yes. All right, high five just to be awesome. And you can tell she's still fucked up about it. But I'm going to give her a hard time about it. <coughs> Every day. I even told her on the way home, like, don't hit another cat on the way home. Hey, tell your dad that I uh, hit a cat in his car. <laughs> <laughs> so I get out at my job. She's a Pussy Destroyer. <laughs> For real. <laughs> Anyways, I get out you know, to go into my job, and I'm like, oh my god. The only thing I think of is, like, blood being all over the side of my car, and it looks like I committed murder. 
<laughs> Typically, when you hit a cat like that in a car, you're not going to see a lot of blood unless it just the, the times it perfectly right. Uh, typically, just lay on the so ground. So I got up, <clears throat> made, or I got out of the car, you know, before I walked in and did like this walk around because <laughs> I hit it on the passenger side. So I walked around the car, make sure there was no fur or anything hanging out of my fucking headlights. <laughs> Big enough, she does have a headlight out now, but it was on the opposite side of where she hit the cat, so we got to get that taken care of this weekend, too. <laughs> Thankfully, those headlights are much easier to change than they were in our traverse. Really? I can just lift the hood up and oh, okay. pop it out and do it instead of popping out the wheel well. Yeah. And all this bullshit. Uh, and you won't be driving in the dark. Like, we can have that fixed before. Oh, yeah. Uh, that. Which is good. I don't uh, think I'm going anywhere. Ugh. I don't think I'm going anywhere at night. No. I don't think so either. Uh, so yeah, there's that. Yeah. Happy Friday to you, Mrs. McStud. You done killed a poor defenseless animal. Oof. Just trying to run across the road. You know, what did it stop? You ever think of like Thumper from Bambi? Like why wouldn't it, why wouldn't it like stop? Animals don't. They don't know what to, like, they're not used to crossing the road like deer. They just like, they see the lights and they're fucking. If you're a stray cat though, and you cross the road. Well, this is why spotlighting is illegal with deer. Because once they see the light, they freeze. Mm -hmm. And you got a clear shot at them. And that's illegal as shit to do. But, uh, animal, you were, it was daylight, but animals don't think about that. By the time they realize what they're doing, yeah. it's too late. It could have been a rabbit, could have been a dog, could have been a deer. It could have fucked your whole vehicle up. Could have fucked you up. <laughs> you could have had a deer, like some antlers in your fucking skull. You know what I mean? Yeah. You were safe. And that's all that's important. You, you, Top you, a poor cat lost his life, but your life is, I'm sorry, more valuable than a cat. Cats are supposed to have my life. Well, you took all night of them today. <laughs> Actually, four and a half for each tire. <laughs> that sucked up. Yeah. Yep. And he's like, man, oh, I got four and a half left. Oh, I'm done. There goes my, my last four and a half. <laughs> For an instant, he thought he was still good. Yeah. She, but it wasn't. Uh, so yesterday, our, our our buddy, the Mexican, came over and said he had a nice medium rare T-bone steak, right? Yeah. So we got talking about he's smoking burgers and there's a little bit of pink in the meat, a little bit of pink. We, we like pink in our meat. Yeah. Um, and Mrs. McSud likes her shit shoe leather done. Um, she likes to chew on a leather belt when it comes to steak. Put yeah. some steak sauce on it. Oh my god! What the hell? That's a whole mess. He had not hit it with his hind legs. Uh, so, <clears throat> Mr. McStud was feeling better than we realized last night. And she didn't realize until today. But she's like, the only pink meat I eat is dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I did say that, yeah. Yeah, you, 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 you totally said that. Oh, Lord Jesus. There's never a dull moment in this motherfucking house. Is there? No. Nope. No. Um, but we do have a delicious ultimate meat pizza. Yeah, you know what? I'd be wearing her Crocs to go to the bathroom sometimes. You all be stretching the bitches out. I can't stretch them out. I have, yeah, I have to tiptoe like that to the bathroom. That's why I need my own pair. Just to slip on. Small ass feet. And now Malachi's going to chew on. She says some small ass feet. Yes. The funny thing is, Lex, is I wear yours and they almost fit me. They're big on me. Yeah, so. Hers were, hers were right there beside the bed this morning. Because I, I, Malachi puked some like little liquid vomit this morning and I stepped into my socks. So I had to take my socks off. Buster. Buster. Hey. Malachi! Wait. Buster, come here, uh, Malachi. Quit. Malachi! Stop it. Buster, come here. Stop. I said Stop. no. Bad no. boy. Buster, come here. Come on, Buster. Come on, Buster. Come here. Buster. No, Malachi. Come here, Buster. So. Come here. Uh. You're all right. You're talking about Crocs? Yes. Yeah, I need my own pair of Crocs. I just need some slip ons because when I. Get up, we have this hardwood floor and I, I put shoes on. That hurts my feet. You're all right. You, you're so I gotta okay. sit there and like put my shoes on, tie yes, them. Okay. But today I was without socks. So I put my shoes He's on. He's his ears and shit, making them whine. 
So I put my uh, my oh. shoes on. So I gotta take my shoes off before I lay down. Yeah. And my feet are stuck to the soles. Ew, why? Because I my feet sweat. Ew. And like it pulled my sole up all crooked, I had to fix it. So her crocs were beside the bed next to my Almost died. <laughs> you didn't almost die. Hey. Almost died. No, you didn't almost die. Ooh. Oh, Lord Jesus. <coughs> I'm sorry to interrupt your story. No, you're okay. You're, you're <coughs> <all right. coughs> Stop. He's got a hairball. I'm Look right. at Buster. He's like, the fuck? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. That's a whole mess. Uh, but I, I, I think I was getting to that. We have an ultimate meat pizza to eat tonight. <coughs> Yeah. For dinner. We were talking about crops. <laughs> yeah, because I have to wear. Oh, I was wearing hers. Does they fit me better? Yeah. So I could walk to the bathroom without having to put my whole shoes on. Without socks. <laughs> I had a pair of socks Ooh. in that laundry basket. Ooh, I think the dogs got them. So, you know, I mean, your son shares socks sometimes. Yeah. I'm wearing his right now. Because uh, <laughs> I want to go all the way upstairs to get a pair of socks. Pick it up. I'm trying. My fucking shit's still hurting. <laughs> Goddammit. Oh, I thought you were actually doing better. I am, but it's still like sketchy. Yeah. Um. I got you. <clears throat> you got it. Thank you, Abby. <laughs> <laughs> I always do. <coughs> Dude. Now, if I was doing good, that fucking laundry basket would be put away already. And I've had a week from hell, so I yeah. haven't done much. No, I, you just need to come home, relax, and cool off. And a week from hell at work. It's been miserably hot. Yes. I have to do all the running after work. Yes. It's a lot. Well, you don't have to. You can come straight home, and I'll do the run. Like I said, I can handle the heat better than you can. <coughs> you can't even get in and out of that car. Okay, but I'd still rather me do that than you have a heat stroke. No, I ain't having no heat stroke. Well, you don't know that until it's too late. That's why I put ice packs on your ass yesterday. I know what, where, when it's going to be coming. Mm-hmm. Do you? Yes. Okay. I mean, whenever I start seeing black, well, I know it's time to pull over. it's too late. Well. <coughs> uh, what else exciting has happened this week? I covered, Not sure. covered all the topics I can remember. <coughs> um, uh, oh, so we're still working on getting our basement door put on. We got Did you fuck with Buster? We got to trim, trim the bottom of the door since we put this uh, new flooring down to make the door fit. <laughs> so today I went by the basement and uh, I hear this noise. It sounds like crickets. In the basement, I was like, man, we have crickets in this basement. So a little before she gets home, our daughter's in the kitchen. She's like, what the fuck? I'm like, what? She's like, what kind of bug is this? Whole motherfucking locust on the kitchen table. I'm like, oh, that's what we heard in the basement. So I killed that motherfucker. Hey, love. Hey, love. I love my friends texting me. Hey, love. Oh, I thought it was uh, one of your uh, non-wanted admirers. No. <laughs> Haven't got any more of those? No. Well, that's good. <laughs> yeah. You got those keys? You know what? Get out here. No. <laughs> Beautiful. Yes, ma'am. Uh. <laughs> So, uh. Well, I think she wants to stop off. Oh. So, what's your big plans for the weekend? <coughs> you double booked well, yourself. Yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. I told the kids I would take them to the fair. So, it's probably going to look a lot like me dropping them off and then going back and picking them up. Right. Because I have to cook meatloaf with our friends. Mm -hmm. And I forgot. Uh. I need to get her nails done. Um, my nails need to be done. I don't mm -hmm. know how the fuck I'm going to do it all, but it's going to work out. One thing about us, we always make things work out. <laughs> don't we? Yeah, but it's even, a hot mess. Even when it's a hot mess, it's still, uh, <laughs> it all works itself out in the end. Because we're good like that, right? Yeah. Uh, yes, we are. 
Uh, oh, when are we making that corn on the cob? I told you I was going to make it with the meat water. Oh, yeah. We're going to make that green bean and scalp potatoes. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Talk about a solid meal right there. Hmm. I was wondering, since for less stove space, <clears throat> I've never cooked corn on the cob on a uh, gas grill. What if I grilled them? Because some grilled corn on the cob is pretty fucking stellar. I'm gonna yeah, wrap them up. How long is it been? 25 minutes. Oh. Um, I know I gotta wrap it in foil and shit. But I've only cooked uh, corn on the cob on wood or charcoal. I've never actually cooked it on gas. But I, was, I also thought too. If we butter the cobs, yeah. before we put them in the foil, they're pre-buttered and cooked, which would be fucking amazing. Right. Um, it is an idea. <coughs> uh, right. Not a lot of work, but that saves you some stove space, more places to cook the other stuff you're cooking. Mm -hmm. And at some point, we're going to cook all those damn hot balls. Oh, shit, she wants to not move. Okay. Well... We don't have <clears throat> well, we drink <laughs> a bottle and a half. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I'm fresh out. Fresh out. <laughs> Till the weekend. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> He's bringing over you some drinkage too. Turkey. <sighs> Fuck. He had a good time with that, didn't he? And I'm weedering it too. He had a good time with She says, oh shit, LOL. That's so right. Yes. He had a good time with me on the turkey, didn't he? Yeah. He told me I was a character when I'm drunk. Everyone says I'm funny when I'm drunk. And his old lady is going to be drunk too. Okay. I don't. Drunk is not like how I like to be. <clears throat> the door's unlocked, right? Yes. Should be. Yes. Yeah. But I, uh, I passed out twice that night. <laughs> and woke back up. That was funny shit. Was it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, then I saw some videos and I heard some funny stories about my, uh, <clears throat> crazy ass, but I did not vomit. <clears throat> like I did on tequila. <clears throat> tequila is, uh, boycotted for me in this house. But the turkey, he's really bringing over turkey. I don't know. Oh. I was like, bring up something. FFS. <laughs> you know, he mentioned Crown, and he's like, I would have brought you a bottle of Crown. I didn't even have it. I was like, well, I didn't plan on drinking it. <laughs> the knife. <coughs> That's a whole mess. Yeah, you're going to be, you're going to get tipsy, and then I'm going to get tipsy. Some bitch. And then his wife's going to be tipsy, because it's her birthday weekend. And she wasn't expecting that last weekend. Damn. <laughs> and we're having meatloaf. Yeah. It's kind of cool to have like, people over for dinner. Yeah, we're going to uh, cook the meatloaf. We're not going to drink, you know, early. Mm -hmm. They're going to come over and help me cook it. Other than we moved, when we moved in the house in McCordsville. Yeah. We haven't really had people over for no. like a meal ever. No. Uh, so they're going to come over and help me cook the meatloaf and everything. We're just going to chill and hang mm -hmm. out. Um. <clears throat> And then we're going to eat and then, then drink. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we haven't really got to entertain anybody for the longest time, have we? Well, no, but I don't entertain. Well, we kind of do. Me. We kind of, well, I'm just me too, but, you know, we have a good time still. Yeah. Know what I mean? And then everybody gets to listen to my dumbass, if that's going to be the case. <laughs> <laughs> we just laugh. <laughs> that's some horse shit, baby. That's kind of funny. No, it's not. Yeah. No, it's not. She's so fucking old. Why does everybody think I'm so hilarious when I'm drunk? You are. Why? Because you just, you have your mouth but drunk and it kind of comes out in slow mo. <laughs> <sighs> that's a whole moment of your mess. Well, that's you. Not me. Damn. You're grounded. Uh, okay. Okay. After Saturday. <laughs> Saturday, you Yeah. Oh, fuck. Jesus, that just mixed up. 
Uh, yeah, I heard some of the things I said that night. I'm like, uh, don't remember it. Don't remember certain people being over that night. Friends here. Okay, I don't remember that. Uh, but we had a half hour, which is our typical time. You just want to call it and chill? Yeah. Sound good? All right, motherfuckers. We will catch you guys Sunday night. I'm McStead. I'm Mrs. McStead. One more drink for the video ends. Cheers, bitches. Give them that pose. Uh.